Hey guys, I apologize if it's a kind of windy and I did not bring my extra mic, but it has been blowing somewhat. Going for a walk, it's a really nice day out. Uh, I wanted to talk about decentralization and a couple of things I've heard recently. And you know, there's been this conversation and I mentioned it briefly in another episode, but this is so important. So I wanted to make this specifically about this is the fact that, you know, centralization is where all our problems come from. And we think about what happened with Parler, for example. And if you're still on Parler, uh, come and follow us. We're just at Silver Report. I still get more views there than I do on Telegram. But there's a big difference between some of the things that are coming out now and then some of the things that existed before. Because when you have a centralized platform, the shareholders own the company. So the CEO, who became a really big public figure, even though he wasn't the problem, he became a perfect scapegoat to be able to get them up and running. We'll say, we'll get rid of this man. And so the shareholders really make the decisions. The CEO is no one. So even if you had a good CEO who had strong ideals, if they're not making money, then they're not going to do business. They're not going to exist. And these companies, all of these large companies have gotten together and they've formed a union essentially and they're destroying competitors and no one is stopping them because they the people benefit from it look how much they contributed to converting our entire election system privately and no one is investigating these people and the only people that are being investigated are <clears throat> really just the people of the united states it's really a horrible thing i never thought that i would see this and so there's the problem because they can be taken down by ads they can be taken down off of payment networks. I'm sure if once we get up this Fed coin, right? This Fed now that they want to do, the Fed keeps talking about central bank digital currencies, then they'll just shut you off of there permanently. And they're, you know, the IMF is the one who was discussing using the big companies to determine your credit score. So if they determine your credit score and they also are the only money there is because there's no other money, you know, then we're in trouble, right? <laughs> Real trouble. So that's why the only thing we can do is move away and speak with our dollars now and to begin to spread out. That's really the heart of my message is to spread out because, you know, when we're all in one place like this and people, I heard it was O'Keefe, he was talking about we can't leave the public square. We need to move the public. We need to move the public and to not have a centralized place. And we just need to decentralize our whole lives. And you know, really there are some decentralized platforms like Presearch. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that, but uh, that's what I use now. And it's awesome because it has an extension right in your web browser and you get paid in a cryptocurrency called Pre, P-R-E, and uh, just for searching. So all my search activity I do on my desktop it just goes right through there and I'm automatically just making money a cryptocurrency. How great. And um, things like Libri. I've been posting videos on there and you have a cryptocurrency that's been rising in value. And because it's a decentralized platform, they say that it's you know censorship resistant, not proof, I guess. I don't know, they said that that's, would be impossible to do that. But they said they've tried to design it so that no one at the top can really control it. So that it could be something where it would be true decentralized, open on the blockchain, publicly available content. So when you have a channel on there, you're essentially posting a catalog, a catalog and people will download it. So that's why it downloads in the background because it's just a catalog. So unlike some of these other platforms where they need hosting, all these, uh, it's like an entirely different system. They call it the next generation, but these are things we need to start thinking about because eventually we're going to get kicked off of everywhere. You know, I had that video that um, apparently couldn't be on Rumble and people all talk up Rumble and all the famous people talk up Rumble. But again, all it takes is just a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure and you see what they do because they bully and all of a sudden they're running 20 30 articles about you and there are some people still in our country who think that that is the news and they run 20 or 30 articles about you about how horrible you are how you're abusing your <laughs> employees i think that i don't know maybe does it look like they're kind of turning against elon 
I don't know, because they were really, really pumping this guy up for years, and then, then all of a sudden, seems like maybe he might have rocked the boat or something. Who knows? There's a big, crazy struggle happening right now. And all of these things, if they were to become a threat, they could be bought, they could be purchased. And so that's why we just need to decentralize our whole life. And uh, that was a decentralized search program, the pre-search. And um, it also shows you all of the different search engines. So you can search any of your favorite surf search engines on there. And you can search things like even Twitter if you wanted to look for look at videos or something. It has a search engine specifically for that. So it's actually pretty awesome as it is. And all these things are great because if we keep things, the status quo, the way things are going intact, I mean, obviously guys, guess what? We lose. These people have so much money and we can't let them, we can't let the Federal Reserve or the IMF or the, the World Bank or any of these banks control money anymore. We can't. We can't do that because they're going to destroy us. They're using this so-called money and obviously a lot of our country is awake and they know that what a joke, right? That uh, our currency, the dollar, what they're doing to it. It's a shame. It's a shame. And uh, we're becoming just like every other banana republic, really, with the printing. And, it's, and we're seeing a lot of the things like the record stock prices is exactly what they saw in, on the Caracas exchange. That's what happens when you go through hyperinflation. It happened in Zimbabwe, too. Everything was very valuable. You could get a, a can of a million dollar can of soda in Zimbabwe. They were living large. I'll tell you what takes a whole wheelbarrow full of money. And they think that that's that's a, that's a success. Obviously, there's like programming they don't want you to understand this and it's we're just we're taking it from all sides we're taking it from all sides so we, we can't stay there the public needs to move the public needs to move because the people where all the public previously was obviously have a lot of bad plans and they're deeply involved in all of this and they're who is doing this and they're being used to establish this new system, it's pretty disturbing. And if we stay and we don't spread out, then we're in trouble. And sooner or later, this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. They're going to focus on the strongest first. The strongest, what they view as the strongest threats first. But make no mistake, that until Aho ideology views uh, people as the threat, the people of the, the country, the citizens. That's, that's what it's all about, is just about abuse, psychological, mental abuse, brainwashing everybody and the people who won't be brainwashed, they put in prisons and torture. It's, that's exactly the whole ideology, is a enslavement of the mind. That's what they're talking about as being a better world that we're going into. And so obviously, if we keep there, and I'm so glad because that I didn't build up another Twitter, but follow us on Telegram. I'll show you a couple things that the, they said in their FAQs that would be so interesting to a lot of people because they were asked, what if the conversation was like illegal or something? Would you report that? And their answer was, that's none of our business. We are not going to interfere in the communications of our customers. And I like that answer. And I am a Christian person. I'm not ashamed. So, I don't believe in lying. And obviously, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong anymore. Because the people deciding what is good are really bad people. They got no idea what good is. There's not one good bone in their body they read about good in a book they would probably read the wrong books because they want nothing to do with good and so we got to ask who are they really against because we know what they say in their articles but guess what they own all of those news programs the people that are fighting us they own the news so they create our reality if we believe it and take it as news but that's not what it is it's just they need to have a voice in the world right because they're rich 
And so they just end up buying all of these platforms and it doesn't matter. I mean, the stuff I've been seeing recently is ridiculously fake. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to me that there are people in this country that are being becoming victims to these people because they've painted this whole false reality about what's happening in our country. And they're painting the people as the enemy, just like I said. So we have to spread out. We have to move with our dollars. We have to use different places because we are the power. We are the power, we're the people. We are who uses all of their programs. I don't know. Just make sure to come over and subscribe to us on LBRY while you still have the chance. And um, I think it's a great alternative. It's a real viable one. And I'll leave a link in the description about that. Because that's what you have to do. We see whenever power gets really isolated into the hands of a few people. But if we simply sit back and just continue using these programs after... There's so many people who are disgusted with what they've been doing recently. There's no way that I could ever go back to even, you know, Fox. There's no way. Not after this. Not after this. These people are liars. They're liars. It's disgusting. They have no shame. And they are ruining a whole generation of children of young people who believe them because everything they say is lies. All of their news is lies. And they're the ones who are the authoritative sources and it's just doing tremendous damage and they're erasing everything that is useful. Like when you try to look up videos of real things that people said, if it's people that are connected to them, you can't find the videos anymore. All you find is just pieces describing why it's all fake. You just find stupid articles written. Oh, that never happened. Oh, it did happen. I'm trying to find the video. Thank you for hiding it from me. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean it didn't really happen. You know, anytime I see something that's like really good and I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is on here. I don't think it'll last long. I always download it because, you know, it's probably going to get deleted. And if we just let that keep happening and live in a world like that, guess what? We're already in one of those mind slave nations. And, uh, then we gotta escape. It's too late, right? And uh, so we have to vote with our dollars, vote with our feet. We need to spread out, spread out. And we need to spread out also out of cities too. That's another idea I was rolling around in my head because if all of this has been designed around the major cities and about, you know, because a big part of this initiative was getting everybody into these smart cities. And, uh, but people have been moving out of the city should continue that we should all abandon their cities because if the mayors and governors in certain places and states and cities that are just completely and totally you know captive then we just got to completely leave there we got to completely leave there because we don't stand a chance we don't stand a chance in those places and we just got to move and abandon those places that way they lose their power they all end up with economic problems we got to just leave those horrible areas you want to just shut down the city guess what all right i'll pack up and i'll leave that's exactly what we need to do you just call up a moving company and we'll deal with that and so and we just keep moving to the places where they want freedom if you want to be free and just go and be and support it and be there be somebody who's there who keeps it alive keeps the flame of uh liberty alive and to join with like-minded people because as a, a unit we're stronger, organizing we're stronger, and uh, obviously in some places you might not even have a voice. And if we just uh, spread out and take the power from the cities and create new cities or new larger towns or small cities with all, everyone moving to different places will revive the economy. Because look how good it's doing for housing prices. It's not just the inflation, it's also all of that moving activity. There's a lot of activity going on because of this exodus and it is positive for small towns and we need to keep that going and turn them into medium sized and then large towns and then small cities and keep that going so we take the power away from where they've established their plan. 
they they have the right people in the right places in all of the current power structures so we just got to move like a waves like we if you really reject it as so many people clearly do as this year taught us in the numbers it's amazing how many people said no and they just it's amazing but just move like a big wave of everyone moving at once and spreading out and getting away from these smart cities and these places they've built and designed. They've been training for years to control masses of peoples in these areas. So if we go to where that doesn't exist yet and spread out, we change the plan and we have that power and we disrupt all of it right there. And so that's what we can't do what they want us to do, which is to just just go along and just let it happen. We got to, we got to spread out as always stay safe.